Hi, I'm Samantha Green, and I'm an associate at Advocate Christ Medical Center. I've been working for Advocate for um, nine years total, and I started off in the cafeteria. I was working in the cafeteria for about two years. After two years, I ran into an associate from sterile processing. I asked the girl, like, uh, what do you do for a living? And she told me, oh, I work in sterile processing. She was like, I'm glad you asked me. He's giving a free class. I'm like, a free class? And that was on a Wednesday. And I'm like, okay, okay, a free class, I need to go. Went to the free class. Well, she told me it was that following Friday. So when I went Friday, I go to the class and I see Eves. And so he told me, nice to have you at, oh yeah, the class was given at New Jerusalem Church on 75th, east of Stony Island. So I went over there to the class. When I got in the class, I see Eves. Remind you, I used to always see Eve's in the cafeteria coming to buy lunch. He never mentioned this class. It took the girl to tell me about the class. So when I went to the class, he told me, it's nice to see you, have a seat. So I went in there, I did the class for about eight to 10 weeks. Once I finished the class, I passed the class and by me already working at Advocate, I end up bugging them to get inside the sterile processing department. So once I got in, my manager at, at, at the cafeteria, she didn't really want me to leave. So I was bugging, bugging, bugging. Finally, I got in and it was history. I started off as a tech one. I was working, I learned, I trained. I don't know, I just beca I became a very good tech. So going on now, I've been in the department for seven years. And after seven years, well, it's seven years now being in the department, but if you wanna like, go back a little bit. I bought my first house after five years of being in the department, sterile processing. You know, it was just something that I never could forget. I bought my first house. It's, it's almost been, it's almost two years of being a homeowner. So I don't know, it was just the best thing I could have ever did in my life.